In this video, we will talk about the invertible matrix theorem. So here it is. <laughs> so the invertible matrix theorem is a theorem that characterizes when a matrix is invertible. So there's lots of different parts to it. Uh, and what it's saying is that when one of these statements is true, they're all true. So statement A is A is an invertible matrix. And when that's the case, then all the other statements have to be true. But then you can pick any other statement. Let's say uh, the statement C, A has N pivot positions. Then that implies that A is an invertible matrix. So the heart of the invertible matrix theorem is more or less this. Suppose we have this matrix, then if we row reduce to echelon form, then the echelon form will be this matrix. And the echelon form will tell us which entries are the pivot entries. So a 3 by 3 matrix has three pivot positions, so by invertible matrix theorem this is invertible, but we can infer other things. For example, when a 3x3 three three has three pivot positions, that means that all the columns are pivot columns, and so there will be no free variables to this linear system of equations. So the only solution to the homogeneous equation will only have the trivial solution, which is another way of saying the columns of A are linearly independent. But also, if there are n pivots in an n by n, that would also mean that all the rows have a pivot position. That implies that the columns span Rn, or another way of saying that is that the linear equation Ax equals B has a solution for any B in Rn, which is saying that the linear transformation defined by multiplication of A is an onto transformation. So basically, the invertible matrix theorem is a review of what we've covered so far and what things we can infer from if a square matrix has n pivot positions.